just look. There's no houses, there are no motorcycles, there are no RVs. We need places like this, free of them, uh, just a little bit. Uh, and that's all we've got, just, just a little bit of wilderness in the nation, we could use a little more. It's just beautiful around you, the textures and the colors and the serenity and everything restores the soul. It's a really special area. People come from all over the world to see this big Cirque coast and to get into these mountains. Wilderness, I think, is an experience. But the highest protection one can guarantee for the general public is wilderness protection. My name is Tuan, and I got involved with the VWA through sheer good luck. Well, in the early days, back in, I guess the late 90s it was, we used to get together down at the Indians around the campfire, but I knew we needed to do something. We needed some feet on the ground, because there wasn't a group working in the Ventana doing what we wanted to do. There was a link to an organization called the Ventana Wilderness Alliance, which I had never heard of in 1999. I thought, huh, what's this? So I looked it up, Googled Ventana Wilderness Alliance. Our initial purpose was to catalog and identify and document the unprotected wilderness areas on public land in the northern San Lucia Mountains. And then out of the blue, some guy that really liked what we were doing, a guy named Mark Deacons from Santa Cruz, sent us five thousand dollars and it just knocked our socks off five five grand we you know we didn't know what to do we just saw a void that had to be filled because we didn't want to lose it we didn't want to lose the trails like the black cone trail was a big big project we did that opened that thing up i made contact with some of the board members of the ventana wilderness alliance and thought you know what i'm going to join this group this is a group that i can get behind because i love the area that they are dedicated to conserving and we created a trail crew that started to maintain uh, the public trails in the Ventana, which had fallen into significant disrepair. The more difficult they get to uh, hike through, the more difficult they get to clear, and to even get volunteers out there to do a little bit of work just becomes a tremendous task. One of the biggest challenges is that the chaparral out there grows so quickly that we need to get out there every couple of years and clear the trails or else they become inaccessible. The VWA will provide all of the personal protection equipment that you need and they'll provide tools. The trail crew leader will help with teaching you how to do things safely. The main tool I use when I'm clearing trail are these loppers because you can get right down to the soil level and get the bushes out. You can get branches off the trees. Having trail crew leaders is important uh, most of all for safety, so that there's someone who knows what potential hazards are and how to avoid them. Crosscut sawing is a lot of fun. It's a puzzle. Sometimes the tree looks pretty straightforward. You, you've got to scope out the tree, what's going to happen with it, and there's always a surprise of some sort along the way. The next important thing is having someone out there who recognizes what is the work that needs to be done. Have you ever walked down a trail that's just been cleared. It's just a real satisfying feeling of seeing that nice open trail. It's all subtractive work. You're taking things away to make the trail better and if you take the wrong thing away you've made the trail worse. When I'm explaining leave no trace principles they usually especially like pick up your toilet paper they'll nod yeah yeah of course we always do that. I don't think they do. A lot of people really don't know how to poop in the woods. Um, doing a lot of toilet paper cleanup. When you do succeed in changing someone's behavior and they not only comply with what they need to do to protect the wilderness, but they join us on a trail crew or join us helping pick up trash, it's a, it's a really good feeling. I like seeing the youth in wilderness because that's our future. Youth in wilderness is important because of what we do. Youth in wilderness is really on the forefront of engaging uh, more diverse communities of Santa Cruz and Monterey County. What we do is provide a, an introductory wilderness immersion experience for these young adults. We introduce them 
to wilderness areas. We instill conservation ethics and we just show them a good time. We very much believe in offering meaningful opportunities to our students and youth and wilderness fits hand in hand. What is that, Franco? This is mugwort. Oh my God, does it smell good? It smells <laughs> great. They interact with their peers and connect and oftentimes they discover a safe place to let their authentic selves shine through. It's an opportunity to reframe their friendships, their bonds, and also just themselves as a person, being aware of their environment and how, how they fit into the bigger picture. Two years ago, I was a junior in high school, and as the years pass by, I've been participating um, in a few trips. They undergo an unquantifiable change my concerns first, it was that my parents weren't going to let me go because all we do is practically stay home in school. A lot of our students and their families in, located in Santa Cruz and Monterey County are not your typical outdoor recreationists. Most of the hikes I've taken, mostly it's been raining, so my, I was scared to slip, fall. You know, we have a mantra in CPY during the summer. It's uh, hard work done well feels good. And <laughs> youth and wilderness definitely puts that to the test. The hiking up, it was very, <laughs> it was extremely hard. What we're really trying to do is plant the seed and pass the torch. As much as uh, some students might complain, they're the first students who say, let me know when the next trip is. But it was wonderful and yeah, it was, after a while, it just became a habit, so it's a lot easier now. You know, there is having that conversation with students about how to use the bathroom respectfully, the proper way in the outdoors, and just using the bathroom alone in the outdoors can be a challenge for some of our students. I would love to continue in this program, and I do want to grow with it, and hopefully as I grow older, have my own family, get them involved in it too. I do want to have an active life with my own family. We equip them with all the essential backpacking gear, the organization, the leadership, food, and they just simply have to come and have a good time and, and listen with open minds and open hearts to what the field instructors are telling them and what nature is telling them.